Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Who do I want to become? I don't know where I'm going to be in five years. Maybe have a family, found a startup, own a house. What I do know is that one year from now, summer 2022, I will have a CS internship. How am I gonna do this? I need a plan. I'm gonna make at least 100 applications. I need to. I gotta shoot my shot, put myself out there, get those rejections, but also land those interviews. If I do two applications a day when school starts, I'll be able to get 100 done within two months. I gotta do all of this as soon as possible. I need to land some offers. I started all of this way too late last time. I got my current call out last minute. It was pretty stressful and I want to stay on top of things this time. I recently had the opportunity to have a coffee chat with an employee from Roblox. I'm really thankful for the opportunity. They were really awesome and I learned so much from that conversation. One of the things they told me that stood out to me though was that larger companies have the capacity to take on more less experienced interns. And I know that sounds kind of obvious saying it out loud now, when I thought of Amazon, Facebook, Google, Apple, honestly, I was really intimidated by these companies. You know, they're worth trillions and trillions of dollars. So I thought to myself, would I deserve to work here? Would I really belong here? So I purposely avoided applying for these companies. If I saw a big brand, if I saw a big name, I wouldn't go for it. I would go for the medium to smaller size company. But these larger companies have more resources to train less experienced individuals. Whereas startups or medium sized companies have less resources to train people and they need people to work right from the start, get out of the gate, guns throttling. And so I learned my lesson. I'm not just going to apply to medium or smaller sized companies now. I'm going to apply to Fang. I'm going to apply to all these big, huge companies. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to build myself up and I'm going to reach for the skies, baby. By the way, I'm, my current co-op is at a startup and I'm not hating on them in any way. They're an awesome company. I need to start my training arc. I've been learning a lot this semester, but it's time to step it up. Get to the next level. It's time to surpass my limits. I've never had a technical interview before. Never had to do whiteboard problems. Never had to code in Google Docs. And I want to ace those interviews. So fellow future interns, we got to train. So I'm going to start doing lead code. Maybe one problem a day. I love problem solving. I just have not made it a habit yet. I need to make it part of my life. Lead code four days. It's my new passion. Cracking the Coding Interview. Everyone in CS has heard of that book. It is the book and it has been recommended to me so many times, but I need to just sit down and read that book. I will have that book read before the end of the summer. Believe it. Gotta keep doing side projects, do more hackathons, and I've done a few hackathons. I co-made and published a Chrome extension for my last one. If you want to see how I made it, you can check my video on it. I got to do more of these things though. They're always such a great learning experience. You're forced to grow and learn and adapt and create something in 24 or 36 hours. And that's why I've signed up for Hack the North and Hack the Six 2021. Funny story with Hack the North. I applied last year and I got in, but I didn't notice the email because they send a lot of newsletter type emails every month or so. And I didn't notice until it was too late. <laughs> it was, I made one of my goals that year because it was the biggest hackathon in Canada. I was so crushed. I think I cried a little, but we moved on. We did other hackathons and we are going to do that hackathon this year. And Hey, because of that, I am a little more careful when I'm sifting through my emails. I got to work on my resume and what presents. All right, time to hop on the PC I found in the garbage. All right, guys, let's check out my LinkedIn. Um, let's see here. About me section. Look, I wanted to check out my website, but I need some text here. Like I see everyone else putting text here. So obviously it's important. I want them to, if they don't click my website, to learn about me, to learn who I am. And I want them to look at me and be like, wow, I should hire this guy as our next CEO. You know, like really stand out. Um, I need a job description here. Otherwise they don't know what I'm doing. 
Um, I need to probably improve the descriptions here overall too. Let's see. Ho oh, ho, man. Definitely need to describe what I'm doing here as a director of student affairs. Um, and I could probably do, use more projects. All right, let's check out my website. Okay. Um, first things first, if we go here, oh, look at that response to web design. Um, but see how it zooms to the top, right? Um, especially at like larger uh, resolutions. I don't like that. I'd rather them see the railroad at the bottom left. So we're gonna have to fix that and make it zoom to the bottom left if we can. Um, I could probably add more depth to this description here too. Um, and I just don't like the way things contrast in this project section. Like I feel like it could just look a lot better. We're gonna have to change that. Let's check out my GitHub. Okay, that commit history is pretty embarrassing. We're gonna have to do more commits here. Um, my excuse is that I work on things offline, but like we can't prove that, right? Uh, so we're gonna have to just make it look better and do more commits. Um, I could also definitely add an about me, read me section um, in my GitHub. Let's work on this stuff together, guys. So like if you're working on your uh, websites or LinkedIn's or resumes, just let me know. So the school just came out with job postings for TA positions. And this is good because I previously had a tutoring gig lined up. I was supposed to tutor someone, but it just didn't happen. Uh, things got canceled. So I'm kind of in need of a job that gives money now. And this has a lot of relevant experience and I'm really passionate for teaching and I just love sharing knowledge. So I really hope that this works out. And you already know your boy is trying to stand out. So he emailed one of the professors he's trying to work with because, uh, you know, the professor, like I've been in office hours with him and I've just watched him during lectures and he's just a pretty cool guy. Um, and hopefully everything works out. So while I was at work, I got an email from my professor. Hope you guys stick around for the journey and watch me land a co-op. And if you guys are looking for co-ops too, let's do this journey together. Let me know in the comments where you guys want to work and how you're going to prepare yourself to get there. Subscribe and don't miss the next episode. Peace.